Happy Holy Week, friends. The final days of the Holy Week are called Triduum. Beginning from the evening of Monday, Thursday through Easter Sunday. Monday means holy and it also means new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. The master took on a new role, a role of a servant, and therefore he decided to wash the feet of his disciples. And he gave them and gave us a new commandment, a commandment of love. Jesus did a very surprising thing. He knelt down and washed the feet of his disciples and gave the new commandment. And that is, love one another as I have loved you. On this very special meal, he gave us a gift of the Eucharist. He also set a very good example for the whole world that he washed the feet of his disciples. And he also invites us to take and eat his body. And then by taking his body and blood, we are forgiven. After the Passover meal, Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. And he prayed to follow God's will. Peter, who was a very close friend of Jesus, he tried to be very brave. But Jesus told him that before the rooster crows, you will say that you don't know me. The purple robe or a purple color, what does it mean? You must have observed that the churches are decorated with purple color cloth. Purple is a color of Lent. Purple is also a royal color, which reminds us that Jesus is our King. The dark purple color means that Jesus came to die for us. A crown of thorns. We know that Jesus Christ is our King. So why would the soldier put a crown upon his head? Remember that Jesus Christ left his throne in heaven and gave his life for us. And he opened all the doors in heaven by dying on the cross. The Lamb of God. Just as the blood of Lamb was used to save the people of God from slavery, in the same way Jesus gave his life to save us from sin. Jesus was arrested and condemned to death. He was stripped of his garments and dressed in a scarlet robe and was ridiculed as king of the Jews. Now again, Jesus was dressed in his own garments and he was led out of the city to the site of crucifixion. Jesus went to the cross faithfully, though he had done nothing wrong. He died on the cross for our sins and after three days later, he rose again to life and gave us eternal life. On that dark Friday, Jesus died on the cross. And two of his disciples, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, took the body of Jesus, bound it in a linen cloth with the spices, as is the burial custom of the Jews. Easter Sunday. Three days had passed since Jesus died. The women go to the tomb to say goodbye, but they won't need the funeral spices. However, that morning holds the new surprises. The angel at the tomb shared two surprising messages. Come and see, the tomb is empty. And then he says, Go and tell the disciples and everyone that Jesus has risen as he had promised. I hope you enjoyed the Triduum story and please do not forget to subscribe, share and like our channel. Thank you and God bless you.